Hello guys, welcome to Nigerian Food Channel. It's your boy Franklin. Right, you can see behind me there's a Christmas tree. I've got a Christmas hat on my head. It's the season again, all right? Right, so this video is different from my usual recipe videos, as you know. And if this is your first time on the channel, thank you for stopping by. If you like what I'm about, if you like my vibe, if you like the content, please hit the subscribe button, show your love, hit that little bell button so you can get latest updates, you know, um, alerts when my videos go live, okay? And if you've been on my channel for a while, be sure to hit on that little bell button so that you can get updated and you don't miss out on my contents. Right, without further ado, um, I've got a list of, um, I've worked on this list, I've got it in my book here, which is um, Christmas food, you know, Christmas menu. By the way, make sure to look in the description of um, this video. I've got a list of all, you know, every single food recipe mentioned in this book or in this video that you can go and click and see how to make them. So, you know, Christmas, as you know, it's a Christmas day or Christmas season. It's a beautiful season for families, friends, and loved ones to come together, to enjoy, have fun, eat, and share wonderful, wonderful memories about the year and stuff. So, I thought, why not make a list to help you guys, if you will, and um, yeah, let's go. So, firstly, on Christmas Day, by the way, I, you know, the usual thing is people get Christmas turkey and all that done. I'm not talking about Christmas turkey here, okay? Uh, that's like, almost like a universal thing. But because this is a Nigerian fruit channel, I'm narrowing this down and talking about my own recipes, okay? So let's go. Under, under the, um, the breakfast, I've got ogi. Ogi is called pap, okay? And akara and akara is a bean cake, okay? So I've got a recipe for, you can make the um, the bean cake uh, with palm oil or with vegetable oil, okay? And also another suggestion for breakfast on Christmas day is uh, plantain and egg frittata, right? Very simple, very easy to make. Check the recipe, pretty straightforward. If you've got any questions, by the way, Feel free to leave your comments below. If you're unsure about any of my recipes, comment on the video. I'll be checking all my comments and I'll promise to reply to you. And we've got pancakes. Pancakes are very good for breakfast. Um, preferably, I would have them with fruits. You can have pancakes with um, syrup and stuff. Um, bagel, bagel, uh, bagel and eggs. Bagel is basically a dense egg roll in the shape of a ring, okay? Bagel and egg is one of my favorite breakfast, actually. And we also have um, yam and egg. Yam and egg, very popularly enjoyed across Nigeria, across the parts of the world, okay? And also you can have yam and mackerel fish. I personally love yam with mackerel fish. You can grill your mackerel fish, you can have it in fried stew. So as I say, if you look in the description below, I would have them properly categorized in chronological order. So under breakfast, you would see all of these things that I've read to you, okay? They're fantastic. Again, you don't have to follow my list. All of these are just recommendations or suggestions, all right? So for lunch on Christmas day, usually for me, on Christmas day, you know, you have your breakfast, probably watch TV, open presents, you know, and then, it gets to a point you get a little bit tired i might end up having a nap i'll be on the phone whatsapp facebook phone calls and stuff like that and then you probably just have a bit of a nap then in the afternoon you can have jollof rice i have a fantastic recipe for jollof rice trust me as i say look in the description below and i also have a video okay three tips for the perfect jollof rice. This is an additional video that I made later on, I think about a year or so ago, just to help you nail that fantastic jollof rice recipe. Um, there's rosemary grilled turkey wings. This is a very straightforward recipe. It's also really nice. You can use turkey wings cut into small chunks with um, very straightforward recipes that I'm sure you can get in your, your local store. I've got fried rice. I've got grilled pork ribs, I've got grilled chicken, spicy chicken wings, and, and also spicy whole chicken. Some people on Christmas day, they don't even go towards, you know, 
uh, doing the usual turkey and all that stuff. Some people might go for. You can go for, you know, having a whole chicken uh, seasoned, marinated, grilled, or you know, spicy, whatever flavor you want to go with. But as I say, my recipe are very straightforward to follow, and you will not go wrong provided you follow my steps. Okay, and then I've got Nigerian salad which is also fantastic to put on the side of your jollof rice or your fried rice. You can even have that salad with your pork ribs, your, you know, your spicy chicken wings and all that stuff. Then there's another one for lunch, which is um, plantain and gizzard. It's popularly called giz dodo in, within the Nigerian circuit. It's basically um, gizzard, chicken gizzard, you know, usually mixed with seasoning and stuff with your, you know, diced plantain. This is nice. You can put this next to your plate of jollof rice and you can actually have a substantive portion of it and have it with maybe chicken or anything else, okay? So, that's that for lunch. Then, I'm gonna go through a quick list on small chops. Small chops is a common name. Basically, they, they, these are regarded as snacks that you can possibly also have during lunch, during the course of Christmas day. Can I also say quickly, you know the list is a bit quite extensive and i don't expect you to do every you know run through everything on my list you know some of these lists can run into the boxing day or days after or even on new years and stuff okay so bear that in mind so on the small chops i've got meat pie recipe for you i've got my chicken pie as well these are very nice uh, you know the meat pie recipe if you follow it they come out fluffy they come out really nice they hit everybody's taste bud and you go for more and more till it runs out You've got the buns, the puff puff, um, sausage rolls recipe, chin chin, beef kebab, man, uh, donuts, uh, beef and chicken suya, um, suya, wow, suya is a very, very popular um, snack. Uh, or smart chops or whatever you want to call it enjoyed across Nigeria actually spans across Africa okay so my recipe are fairly straightforward I've also got a separate recipe on if you don't have a suya spice and you're willing to make your suya spice yourself at home it's dead easy to make okay so as I say look in the description for all the links um, there is also a recipe for vegetable spring rolls there is uh, lemon pepper chicken wings there's peppered snail Peppered snail is one of my personal favorites, which is also great. There is also uh, this popular uh, smart chops, uh, one of the delicacies from Nigeria called Isiewu. Isiewu basically is a goat, spicy goat head. Um, in Kwabi, in Kwabi is um, spicy cow foot, um, asun, spicy goat meat. I've got all these links for you. Trust me, you're gonna have an awesome, awesome Christmas, provided you're willing to dive into my recipe, okay? And um, yeah, so I've also got a separate list here for dinner. I've got oven baked tilapia fish, and you can you can serve that. This, I actually made this recently. There's a there is a link if you go to my homepage, you see, see that at the top. The oven baked tilapia fish can be served with fried plantain or fried yam. Uh, or you can have a grilled tilapia fish, okay? Oven baked or grilled, okay? But the, the thing is, they're both great, but they come out, you know, slightly different because when you grill something, it's definitely, you know, different in terms of texture, in terms of taste. Taste should be similar if it's the same seasoning, but grilling just gives completely different texture, particularly to the external part of the fish. Uh, you can serve that with fried plantain as well if it's grilled and with fried yam. Um, chicken pepper soup, goat meat pepper soup, catfish pepper soup, tilapia fish pepper soup, man. And then, that's that for dinner. So if, you're, if you'd like to make um, any of my Nigerian soups, for those of you that might like to uh, try your hands with swallow, what we call swallow foods are like pounded yam, fufu, um, uh, semolina, eba, and there's a long list, yam flour and stuff like that, right? Uh, there are a few lists of, um, you know, um, um, soups that go with swallow. We've got uh, spinach and melon soup, known as efoile gusi in Yoruba. There is um, a dikaiko soup, there is ogbono soup, assorted okra soup, which is called ilalasiko in Yoruba, okay? Um, there is a gusi soup, which is a gusi itself, the melon itself. You can cook it without adding spinach. Some people like it alone and some people like it with melon, right? I mean with spinach. 
you've got ayamashe soup ayamashe is an offered rice stew um you've got a fori roll which is a spinach with um blended pepper but not blended smoothly with your sorted meat it could be with tribe uh, uh beef shin it could be cow foot whatever or even with fish right and then yeah i've got the your father stew sauce and stuff and if you would like to bake you know baking you have your meat pie your chicken pie and all that stuff fall on that baking as well and i've also got gingerbread men uh gingerbread biscuits if you've got kids in in your in your family kids would love gingerbread biscuits they're dead easy to make okay and i've got recipe on how to make gingerbread men and i've also got on how to do the icing you know to put a smiley face on the gingerbread men and stuff and then there is um also recipe for banana bread or banana cake like some people call it there's also recipe for pound cake and you can enjoy pound cake which is pretty much plain cake you can have that with custard and stuff and then for the drinks i've only got one drink if i if I'm able to put one or two things together before Christmas, I can share details on more drinks that you can enjoy. But for, for now, the only drink I've got on my list is Zobo drink. Some people call it Sorrel drink or Russell drink, okay? And yeah, that's it pretty much for my list. The dead easy to make, like I say, just go in my description, look at the list. These are recommendation, okay? But trust me, I'm confident of my recipe, my, my recipe, they are mouth-watering, they're fantastic. If you follow them, man, 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 every single person in your family will definitely, definitely enjoy my content. So that's it pretty much. As I say, look in the description, it's your boy. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at the Nigerian Food Channel. My personal is Instagram at Franklin, P-H-R-A-N-K-L-E-E-N, -E and yeah. That's it really, and I hope I see you in the next video, and uh, whatever the case may be, be sure to have a fantastic Christmas, okay? Peace!